All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the feud between Andrew Dice Clay and Jay Moore because this has to be one of the funniest beefs of all time. It was complete chaos, and it got so crazy, people couldn't even believe it was real. But it was legit, and it also got pretty serious, too. There were some threats made, and the police got involved at one point. It was just completely out of control. So this all went down in the early 2000s on Opie and Anthony. Jay Moore had just made an appearance on Conan, and he was talking about how he has a low sperm count, so he has trouble getting his wife pregnant, and he used the term yam bag when he was talking about it, which everybody thought was hilarious, but Dice was pissed about it because he felt like Jay was ripping him off since Jay got this term from him, even though I doubt Dice was the first person to ever use this phrase, but Jay definitely got it from him, and O and A and their audience give Dice credit for coming up with this since he's the first person they've ever heard say it. And he said it because on the radio, you have to think of different ways to refer to things since you're not allowed to say certain words. So he came up with a yam bag and they loved it. They thought it was hilarious. No, no, no. <laughs> As your yam bag is smacking against <laughs> your yam bag. I make all this up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're killing me, buddy. <laughs> your yam bag is slamming. Well, you know, That's like the normal term. And I, I got to come up with like, when I call you guys, I got to like uh, think on my feet. Like, what can I call like uh, so whatever it is. <laughs> yam bag. I love it. We use yeah, yam bag, mayonnaise bag, mule bag, whatever you want to call it. We use banana, banana sack. We use we use banana juice all the time now. Cause oh, yeah. So they gave Dice credit for coming up with that, and they continued to use it on their show because they thought it was hilarious. And Dice never had a problem with them using it at all. But once Jay Moore used it on Conan, he was pissed. He already had some problems with Jay, and then hearing about this just set him off. So here's Jay on Conan using the phrase, and the second time he uses it, he even says, I sound like Dice, so he kind of does give him credit for it. Let's say I have 11 in the entire yam bag. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? I said, what did you just say? I said, Conan. I said, let's say I have 11. That's not the part I'm asking about. I forgot. In the entire yam bag. <laughs> now it's mine. <laughs> I sound like dice. <laughs> yam bag. <laughs> Dice is watching going like, this is too blue. No, <laughs> but I'm saying even if I only have 11, I'm... So just for some context, in case people aren't familiar with Jay Moore, he doesn't have the best reputation. He is kind of known as a joke thief. Multiple comedians have called him out for it, and he even admitted to stealing a whole routine from somebody. And he also took a story from Burt Kreischer and started telling it like it actually happened to him. So considering all that, it makes this Dice situation look a little worse for him. You know, if this were some comedian with a good reputation making a yam bag joke, I'd probably be like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But the fact that he's doing it, it definitely seems like there's a reoccurring theme here. But also at the same time, Dice has been in a lot of feuds with other comedians and he's known to fly off the handle once in a while. So I'm not justifying his response to this. He definitely overreacted. But I could see how comedians would get really annoyed with Jay. So here's Opie and Anthony talking about Jay using Dice's line on Conan. Well, you know, that's, that's uh, what? Dice's line. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's Dice's line. And um, Jay uh, used it on, on uh, Conan's. And he did exactly what we have done to Dice, where uh, yeah, we yeah. steal his lines and go, well, that, now it's mine. Now it's ours. Now it's my line. And it's a, you know, a goof. It goes back and forth. And now look what I do to you now. Right. You know, and then Jay did it on national television. It was really funny. He was talking about getting his wife pregnant. So they kind of admit that he stole the line, but they don't care that much because they do the same thing. And Dice has no problem with them using it, so they probably think it's fine if he uses it. It's not that big of a deal. But Dice calls in later on, and he is pissed, and it gets ugly fast. Like, Jay can't even get a word in. Dice just starts going off. And in the beginning, you could tell Opie and Anthony are trying to do some damage control and help Jay out. But then Dice just starts going, and there's no slowing him down. He starts bringing up all these other problems he has with Jay, and he also accuses him of cheating on his wife, and his wife is listening to all this. She's right next to him, and as you'll see here, that eventually leads to Jay's wife calling up Dice to tell him to please stop talking about that, and it just gets even more out of control from there. More. <laughs> Hold on, Dice. Yeah. What's wrong? You know what's wrong, and he knows what's wrong. What? You know? What? Jay? What Jay uh, yeah, what, what, what was that about last night? On Conan O'Brien? What, yeah. Jets? Jay, Jay, uh, he's a he's a good friend of the Opie and Anthony show, and to, I, I know what he is. And, and, and to show his love, he used one of our terms, "yam bag." I think it was an homage. It was an, it was an homage to the Opie and Anthony show. Of course, everyone knows that we came up with the term "yam bag." No, no, I, I let you guys slide. Now, you know why? Mine. You know why I let you guys slide? Why? Because you promote my shows. I got no reason. 
to let him slide. Uh oh. But, but what are you playing? I'll, I'll tell everyone what I see today. But he didn't steal the line, man. It's yeah, he stole the line, and he knows he stole it, and he knew he was going to use it. He didn't steal it. Oh you man, know. you know you're out of the yeah, show. That's a creepy move. move, Jay. I don't go for that stuff. You know when you're out of the show business, Luke, you, know, you got to call radio one, shows to say you, you stole my the whole, uh, <laughs> no. that, that whole stupid bit about the sperm banks that yeah, I got I on album number that. two already. Oh, And then you're using my newer lines because you had nothing to say. What was that about? What newer lines? And you, you come you come to the store like, like a real jerk off and go, oh, are you going on? I want to watch you. I didn't know you wanted to record and use the stuff. I, I don't go for that, Jay. I still don't know what you're talking no, about. Don't, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, why don't you tell me what you're Don't play the tough guy routine. No, I'm not going to talk unless I have a chance. All right, go, all right, I'll let you talk. Because no, you that, that pisses me off. Because you can't control yourself. Because you need freaking medication. <laughs> you can't control yourself to not talk. First of all, I go on in front of you at the comedy yeah, store. Yeah, I know why you go on in front of me. You can't help yourself. You are so hungry for fame because you're so far out of the loop that this is the only chance you get to tap dance for America. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me my chance for fame. Like people know who you are. Please. You're the Gilligan of movies. Well, what are we talking about here? <laughs> That's who you are. I'd rather be a Gilligan of movies. You know what? I, I, you know what? Say, uh, it's good that you'd rather be a Gilligan, because I would never settle for I'm being a Gilligan. You're done with that. I could work circles around you. I knew you were a creep. What? I knew you were a creep then. I knew you were a creep coming to the comedy to store, you guys trying to pick about. up on any chick coming out what? of the bedroom. I knew you were a creep then. I'd love don't to explain to you guys what he's creep. talking about. Okay? All right. All right. Don't, be, don't be a big guy with me. Dice, let me show you guys what he's talking about. Dice, Dice, I want to hear, hear what Jay has to say about that. No, he so went let, on. He did my not hear him. He knows he's wrong. And he's trying to. You don't let Jay talk. You're not letting Jay talk. You're not letting Jay talk. You're not letting Jay talk. This guy didn't even show up to it. Dice, you're not letting Jay talk. No, wait a minute. Then I'll let him talk. Oh, Christ. This guy, let me tell you something. He's got a friend out in L.A. He's a terrific comic, Ralph May. So he throws Jay a birthday party and invites me to it. And I showed up, not for Jay, because Ralph was nice enough to invite me, okay? Jay doesn't even show up for his birthday party from his best friend. They tell me he's, he's got a big studio meeting, but yet his manager was there, his agents were there. All of a sudden, studio meetings are being done without, without the star's representatives there. He's a friggin' creep, this guy. Did you just call me a star? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're Gilligan. Gilligan was a star in his own right. Now let Jay talk. No, he did the wrong thing and he oh. went cop to it, and he thinks he's going to be a big shot. But when he comes toe to toe with me, he's going to crumble, and he knows it. So then Jay tries to explain his side of things, but of course Dice is yelling over him, and he can barely talk. So then he gets pissed and starts saying some anti-Semitic stuff to Dice, but he does get a chance to explain himself a little bit. And at the end of it, Opie and Anthony are like, you know, I think that makes some sense. But of course, Dice does not want to hear it. And he continues going off. And Jay can barely get a word in because Dice just keeps yelling and talking over him. So I guess he just doesn't know what to do anymore. And then he just randomly starts saying, die, get in the coffin. Which I think, again, is him taking a line from another comedian. I think it's from Otto and George, this ventriloquist. But Dice doesn't know that. So he doesn't call him out for it. And it sounds like he thinks he's actually threatening him. He's telling him he's going to kill him. So then Dice gets even more worked up. And he starts talking about he's ready to fight. And he's going to kick his ass and everything. And it just seems like it's totally out of control at this point. And there's no stopping these two from going at it. But then Anthony asked Dice a question. And Dice's response is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Second of all, the Westbury Music Fair, I was honored to work with Dice at Westbury Music Fair to right. open for Dice out of a show of respect. That was, was, what was this night? Was last night a yeah. show of respect? Why'd you cancel Rascals last night? Was that I a show of respect? I was just about to say it, you are an opportunist. You're a jerk-off guy. You're a heave, and that's you're what you are. are. Yo, they're both Jewish, right? No, no they're not both me Jewish. Now? <laughs> Stop. Look. What do you call me? You guys, I was just about you to just tell call you what happened with Westbury, but I couldn't I want to know what you I know. Right, what, what happened with West? What, what happened? Hold what on. Did you just call uh, hold on, hold on. I got to put Dice back on hold. What, what happened at Westbury? Jesus Westbury Christ. Music Fair, I agreed to do for with Dice. Right. For Dice. Not for the money, because it was less than what I would normally get if I did it. Mm -hmm. He says, I also want you to do Rascals. I said, definitely on Westbury, no on Rascals. Uh-huh. That's what happened. Okay. All right. So you tell me where I'm the big shot here. Back to uh, Opie. All right. Back to Dice. I, I heard uh, Jay's explanation of why he didn't do uh, Rascals and Westbury because he was given the all and nothing yeah, ultimatum. Yeah, I want to hear about last night. Forget about that. That's no, 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 no,
I just proved you wrong. So now you just proved me back? wrong. You're a scumbag. What are you talking about? I'm a scumbag. Look in the mirror. 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 You know, Jay, you you're going to run into me, and you're not going to be a big shot. I can promise that to you. I get in the coffin. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, you just did sealed your own. I put it that way. Defending myself? That's, what, that's why you're say saying, Dice, like get in the coffin. Dice, you, got, you got nothing to say. Dice, he, he pretty much had an answer for what you were saying. I just want to know. He had no answer. He went on a show. He did material that's not his. You know, I mean, he's a little kiss ass. He did your voice. He comes though. to a comedy store trying to pick up anything coming out of a girl's bathroom. Yeah, don't better, than, remember better me? than coming out of the I men's room. I was Gilligan to Tom Cruise in that movie. Remember? Zero. That's it. Then why are you calling to call me a zero? Because I'm pissed off zero. when a zero goes on when you and does my food? material. That's why. When you go on a show and do my material, that's wrong you and you zero. know it. And you're trying to defend something that you can't defend. I said this if is you guys, If you want to tell me die and get in the coffin, you come. You know where I'm at. I'll be waiting for you. I want to I, see if I you can stand with me with, with nobody around. I just agreed with you. You stand with me with nobody around and you tell me die and get in the coffin. And then we're going to see what happens. And then we're going to see who's in the coffin. We're going to see what a big shot you are. You don't scare me. You ain't nothing to me. Now, Believe me. Guys, it that seems maybe you could pick on the girl from the... Uh, I want to see you stand with me like a man, which you are not, you know, and, and tell me what you just said on the radio. I want to see you do that to me. I think I hit a sore spot with Dice. Hey, you didn't hit a sore spot. Hey, Dice. You did the wrong thing. Dice. You don't cop to it once again. That's no, I did. I, I just explained it, and you're not addressing it. You know what I mean? Stick to being Gilligan's in film. Don't get on a comedy stage. Hey, 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 I'm trying. Hey, Dice, you didn't hear that he said, hey, I'm Dice. Yeah, I'm big. You didn't hear him say, "Yeah, I'm Dice, Yambag." Like he he was doing an impression of you when he oh, said when he uh, then uh, said Yambag. Oh, well, maybe I got the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes I mean a mistake. I mean I didn't even see the thing. <laughs> now it's my misunderstanding. <laughs> Whisper, you hey, Jay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by that. I'm sorry. Are you I accept. We got off to a bad start. Let's <laughs> to Kenny called me and said it's all or You know nothing. what I mean? <laughs> Jay, you got to accept my apology now. I, did, I mean, you uh, did, but you don't listen. Nah, I'm sorry. It's all my mistake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe I got a little out of control. I lose my head. I got a bad temper. You know what I mean? You know, Joey Breed is coming around. This one, Tommy Smith, just telling me everything going on. And, uh, you know, and then you, and you got to say this? Because I'm over here now. I wasn't over there when you did the thing. You know what I'm saying? Did you hear my explanation about Westbury Music Fair? Uh, you know what? It's my mistake. It's my mistake. I should have had you do that show. All right, listen. You know, we got we got to let certain things go in this world. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you did the impression. Let me hear how you did it. <laughs> Yambag, now it's mine. Hey, scumbag, that's not even the way I say it. <laughs> you didn't do that as me. You did that as you. So people took that as your material, and you know damn well that was my material. Yambag, I said that. That's right. What are you, the main bow of the 2003s? We have the tape. Is that who you are now? Hold on, we have the tape. We have the tape, Dice, if Let you want to hear, hear it. I want to hear this. Here it is. If both Jay and Dice can be quiet for a second, we'll play this for you. Oh, right? yeah, I'm the problem. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm and, the and, problem. You're I, everybody now. All right, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, so Dice did a complete 180 within seconds. That was one of the funniest moments ever. And obviously he was joking around, I think. I don't even know at this point. He might have just lost it for a second. But then he just went right back to calling him a scumbag once he heard he wasn't doing it correctly. So now that's the problem that Dice has with Jay. You know, they play the clip for him since he hasn't heard it yet. And then Dice starts complaining about how Jay wasn't doing it right. There you See go. See that? He's a yam bag. No, he didn't even say it right. You know, if you're going to steal, you got to do it right. You didn't do it right. Right? Yeah. Right. The way too you said your bag was very weak. <laughs> too, much, too much applause. Just because that's what I'm on the M. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yam bag. You're both talking at the same time. What's new? Yam bag. When people yeah. ask, you shouldn't do it all the That's time. That's like saying to a chick. You do your Christopher Walken impression, and everyone knows Jay Moore was pretty much the first person to do the Chris Walken impression. No, he wasn't. 
No? Peter Dobson did it first. He got that whole thing going. Who's that? I, don't I mean, uh, he's an actor. That, that could do Chris Walken. Oh, you know what? When I was 20 years he old, he does a good Chris Walken. Walken. Hang out with a lot of actors. What's that? I don't even know who the guy is. Yeah, so what? So you're supposed to know everybody? That You just made my own point for me. You're suggesting I stole Walken, too? I don't even know who you're talking about. Yes, you do. Luca Palanca does a better walker than you. Who? So that was pretty much it for the first part. They had to end things there because they're going to a break or the show is ending or something. But obviously nothing was resolved there and they still hate each other. And then things continued off the air and Jay's wife decided to get involved. She thought that'd be a good idea. So she called Dice to tell him to stop saying that Jay was cheating on her. And she was polite about it. You know, she wasn't trying to rile him up or anything. She's definitely trying to be civil. Like here's a voicemail that she left him that Dice played on the air. Andrew, this is Nicole Moore. I'm Jay Moore's wife calling. Hey, listen, um, this is completely has nothing to do with anything else. I am, I am truly actually myself a fan, and I just wanted to pass on to you. Um, this is pretty ironic, actually. I really was standing on my head. We really are trying to make a baby right now, me and Jay. And so the part when you were saying that he was hitting on every woman who comes out of the bathroom, that kind of stuff, that was a little hard for me, and I know it is, uh, you know, just you, you guys are having your disagreements about what you're having a disagreement, and that has nothing to do with me, but just that one little part about, you know, my husband hitting on other women and all that stuff when we're trying to make a baby, that's just a little hard. So I just wanted to ask you or, or just put in my two cents worth just about that little part. That so she's obviously being nice about it. You know, she wasn't trying to start anything else. It's not like she called him going off on him and just making things even worse, but still, this was not the best idea for her, and it's kind of weird that she called him you know it's better off if she just stayed out of it this is only making things worse and eventually she did get in touch with him and she said he was being really nice to her and he's like oh i'm sorry that you were dragged into this i'm sorry you're involved but then at the very end he said he'd blow jay up so she was concerned about it she told jay and they decided to call the police and they got involved so it turned into this giant thing and then the next day jay and his wife went on opie and anthony and Dice calls back in and of course they pick up right where they left off and Dice just keeps making fun of Jay for calling the police and Dice keeps saying he never threatened him and Jay's just being a baby but also at the same time he's like Jay threatened me first he said that I get in the casket and I had to defend myself or retaliate or something. All right Nicole's in the studio. Nicole's very nice she said we're trying to make a baby I know you and Jay are having problems and I said well that's very good for you that you want to have a baby. But I got two kids that love their father, and they don't want to see me in a casket dead with a nail in it. Isn't that what you said? No, I said die. Wasn't that your coffee. threat? No, I said... He was doing I, a, an Otto George you went impression. To the detectives, I got to handle things on this side. Thanks. You ever see Otto George? you can't handle things like a man. You're ba He's going to beat me up there... Uh, you know, I'll I'll just go, hey, hey, I'll hey. go home because this is ridiculous. No, it's very on. serious. Dice, right. Now we got to now we got to put you on hold. All right, hold on. Now we got to put right. you on hold. See, right. see. Now look what we can do to you. Okay, go ahead, Jack. He's on hold. Exactly what happened was that he was very kind to me when I called and asked him to please, if you could, just not say that my husband is, uh, you know, hitting on other women. We're right. trying to make a baby. And he was very kind. He said, I understand and I apologize and I in no way meant to hurt you in any way, shape, or form. And I really hope you did get pregnant because your husband's going to be in a million pieces. Oh. And then he went on to describe how he was going to hurt my husband. And he was very kind Not and very hurt, sweet. Kill. 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 My husband. And he said, we all know what happened to Kennison when he crossed me. So... He was goes, that a line that was... Did yeah, I say the, that? That's in the police that report. To, he said Dice. that to me, and he was very kind through the whole thing, and that's the reason why we called Hello. the police. Dice, Dice did you say you know, know what happened to Kinnison when he crossed me? lying and embellishing this story. Oh, well, okay. Right. They're making me sound like a hitman from the mob. You, did you that's say, what you look what happened? Like did you life. say, no, you look I what happened to Kinnison? I've had lots of fights with comics over the years, like Kennison and Belzer, professional comics, you know. The only and and, and they don't they don't have me. their wives calling me up. I that mean, was... just the fact he's got his wife there, you know, like like his apron holding his apron strings. Why is his wife even there today? You know what I mean? You want to lie about me? No. You want to tell me you want me in a coffin? And I mentioned you're talking to girls coming out of the bathroom, and that's why you're going to the cops. That's between you two. 
Honey, if you can't keep it in his pants, that's your problem. But I don't need oh, harassing boy. calls. That's not what we were talking about. I don't about. need harassing calls from a wife that and a friend. Harassing. Who's going to call me today? Your all. mommy, Jay? You were very kind to me. You were very kind to me. Yeah, it wasn't exactly. harassing So why are you saying I'm going to blow him into a million people? When that's this cop was told telling me, me that, I'm going to... Did you said I hope you got pregnant because your husband's going to be in it. You said I hope you got pregnant because your husband's going to be in a million pieces. That no, made me upset. I did not upset. say that. You are just lying through your teeth. Uh, then I then I'm talking to Opie and he goes, well, you know, the line he actually said about the coffin line is from Otto and George. Right. Yeah. Is is that true, Jay? Yes. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, it is true. Get the coffin so down. Get the coffin down. No, wait, wait time out. Are you going to kill Anthony now because he just no, said wait, it? No, no, wait a minute. I'm supposed to know now that what what comic you're taking for, like you used me on Conan. Yesterday you used an Ottawa and George. What are you, like a cover band? Are you like the cover comic? You cover all the comics material? Guys, we're all friends with uh, Otto and George, and we all so, throw around George's lines no, here so on the show. No, but what I'm supposed to know is what act he's ripping off at the time. Were you doing Otto or the dummy? I mean, am I supposed to know that, too? I'd like to know what any of this has to do with you making my wife cry. Why is your dumb wife even calling oh, me up? Oh, Jesus. Boy, you're building your Why fan base. Why is she calling me up? Because, because it's the 20, I'm getting because it's the 21st calls on my phone century, and that's actually you, what women do. This isn't the Middle okay, East. Women stand your up wife, for themselves. From your friend, something. I don't, I don't know what your um, anti-Semitic remark was because Opie won't play it back. Hold on. Do you oh, happen oh, to remember oh, that? Oh, nice. We played the whole argument uh, when we first got here today. Yeah. So what was that remark about? I don't know what you're talking but, about. Uh, of course you don't. This has nothing to do. I think it has called... a lot to do with it, Jay. I think you know what? If you have a comedy here. fight, that's okay. If you're keeping it to joke and being funny, because people want to laugh. Then why did okay? you tell my wife you're going to put me in a million guy, pieces? You want him in a coffin yeah. dead? You know I what? I didn't say I that's wanted you in a coffin dead. Line. I never said the phrase "I want you in a coffin dead." You're lying. Did you kill okay, Dennis? You know what? Guys? Maybe I'm not phrasing it exactly. It's just like you embellished to the police. You know, all kinds of nonsense. You're a baby. I did and you're not embellish a your word. I, this has nothing to do with Jay. I personally did not You got every cop word. in New York working on a disaster, and you're running there because you're, you're, you're afraid that your husband's running because I made a comment about girls. No, you don't no, think that's no, as not bad as what he said was, to that, me? That wasn't it at all. As a matter of fact, you handled that. You were very kind about it, and we moved on. That's not no, the no, reason but the for the point call. Is, you, you don't the think that was wrong? The reason for the call is because you threatened my husband. You're messing with my house. I, I don't you know like what? that. I'll admit, I was very angry at your husband you because he wasn't being a comedian. Him. He was just being nasty because he had nowhere to Fair go. Enough. Did you and tell my wife you were going to make sure I paid and I was going to die, if well, not at the beacon? No, and that's that. what happened to Kennison when he crossed you. Oh, yeah. Oh, so now I killed Kennison? That's, that's, what, you, you that's what you said. You said yeah, that I made we all know what happened. Off the road. It was quote. all about me. We, You're an idiot. Direct quote. I we all know it. what happened to Kennison. No, it's not a direct quote, quote because everything you're said saying is a lie. Verbatim. Yeah, so obviously, once again, nothing was resolved. No problems were worked out. But at the end, like right before they're going to commercial break, Dice was like, come on, Jay, let's work things out. Let's end it here. But Jay sounds like he's just done with him at this point and he's not looking to resolve anything. He doesn't care. So then after that, they go to commercial break and then they come back and start taking calls and Opie and Anthony start goofing on Dice a little bit. All right, listen, we got to take a break, Dice. All right, well, let's make this right, Jay. Let's end this. We gave them a great show. Uh, I didn't really say much. Let's make this right. Come on now. Come on, boy, Chico. We're, uh... You know you still love me through thick and thin. We're going to break in ten seconds. Nine. Jay? Eight, Jay, come on now. Seven. Look nothing at your wife. Say. Let it go. Got nothing to say. I have nothing to say. What, what do you think Yom Kippur's about? The Day of Atonement. You forgive you, everybody. You threaten death. It's a police matter. All right. Well, we have to take a break, Anthony. All right. Thank you, Dice. All right, Sonny. Thank you. Can you call my wife stupid? Yeah, boys. All right. Crazy dicing. I'm insane. I'm killing everybody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, I... All right. I learned that the uh, dice man's IQ is just about equivalent to Jay Moore's sperm count. <laughs> uh, very good. That's exactly the kind of comedy we need around here. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, that's very good, Brian. Hey, guys. So these two do have one more interaction, and I'm not totally sure how long after the original one this is, but I know Dice had just gone on some late night show, and Opie and Anthony expected him to give their show a shout out while he's on there, 
but he didn't do that so they're kind of upset about it but he said he didn't do it because of the whole jay moore thing and he's punishing them since they started trashing him after he got off the phone why didn't you mention us last night <laughs> you didn't like the punishment, did you? The punishment! Now, now let's get into what the punishment was about. All right, punishment. Well, you tell... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You tell me why you got punished. Uh, was it for some of our comments after you hung up on the last conversation? <laughs> nah, nah. Now we're getting somewhere. Nah, nah. You. You got a gift, my friend. Well, uh... You got a gift. <laughs> We got, we got to put the blame squarely on Jay Moore. On Jay Moore. <laughs> Look, we'll after the last time uh, I was on with Jay Moore, uh, people forgot that he's even in the business. <laughs> uh -oh. You know what I mean? Oh, boy. So then while Dice is on the phone, Jay Moore just happens to run into the studio, and of course they start going at it again. But it's not as serious. You know, I think they're mostly just joking around here. And Jay keeps trying to mess with Dice. He keeps doing Dice impressions and... He just keeps making weird noises and stuff. And eventually him and I think Jim Brewer, who's also in the studio, start beatboxing over Dice while he's talking just to annoy him and get to him. And he hangs up and they all start celebrating. Jay Moore in the studio right now. He just ran in. He would run in. <laughs> So he went into the limo for him, that's for sure. Oh, you're sure you want to do a show, take the bus. You're quick, nice. You're the quickest. That's for sure. Your career was the quickest. <laughs> yeah, so was your mother. <laughs> what is that, Jay? Big Farmer. Oh, come back. Oh, don't, don't, don't try to go. Don't try to do this, Jay. Uh, Jay just walked out. Smart move. Oh, oh man. Because I'm not in the mood for him today. Jay, where's going? <laughs> Hang him. Why did Jay leave, man? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he got hurt. Maybe he knows Mrs. Mantilla. You get know. Off the hey, roof. Joey, get off the You're roof. Joey, get off the roof now. <laughs> no, not get off the roof now. Hey, hey, hey Joey, look, I, get off the roof. I stole it. I can say it any way I want. No, it ends on roof. If I steal the joke, I can say it any way I want. Who's talking now? Jay Moore. Hey. You didn't just steal that. <laughs> you stole half my bitch. What do you think you sold at 10 shows at Rascals? <laughs> Do a commercial till I come back. Ah, look at that. Oh. <laughs> nice scene, nice. Nice. Right, nice. Right. We got off to a bad start. He would have mentioned us on Craig Kilborn, but you bad But Jay had to open his mouth, so blame him. But you bad mouthed uh, Dice after be, he was on our show. That's got to be the most ridiculous excuse for forgetting <laughs> to plug a show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to plug you guys, but Jay didn't do something nice for me. So when I was in L.A. on a show, I decided not to mention O.P. and Anthony. No, no, not because Jay opened his mouth. Because hey, Joey, get off the tomorrow. roof. It's the first oh, time I spoke to Jay Moore. He almost party. sounded normal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now listen to him. He's babbling. No, I ain't even seen him. The babbling farmer. That could be your sitcom. He was in some pretty successful movies there, uh, Dice. Well, so good for him, but it wasn't about him. <laughs> He was in successful movies. That's the key. He didn't star in successful movies. He was it in one. You, it's like he happened to be walking down the street, and they said, Hey, pal, come here. You want to do a few lines? Oh, God. You know what I mean? You're talking about Tom Cruise, not, not him. Who's looking at him? Nobody. I like him. I'm supporting him. What's that? My wife's waving. What? What? I'm on the phone. Get out of here! Hey, kids, what about the bikes? I gotta go, I'm dying. I'm having a heart attack. Get your out of here, he's ruining the whole show. At least, at least when I go on national TV, I give respect to Opie and Anthony and I plug them. Yeah, well, oh. they kick their ass some more, all right? Get out of here. <laughs> he's got to get happy Opie and Anthony let you on their show. All right, guys, sweet we'll, delivery. All right, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs> what do you mean? What does that mean? We got to go. We're doing other things. What do you mean you got to go? I'm, I'm, uh... What is this, to blow up? Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You've been on the air the whole time. I don't know if you've been comparing the ratings Since on your show. Hey, we can sing together. We can't talk together. It's just you guys. I don't know. I've seen them. I've seen them. But now all of a sudden, we're taking control. Nice, 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 n
Dyson down. Right, Dyson so down. Down goes Fraser. <laughs> down goes Fraser. <laughs> Anybody else want to call? Yeah, so Dice hung up, but he heard what they're saying at the end there, and he heard them cheering and everything. So he calls back in and starts going after Jay once again. And then at the end here, it just devolves into madness. They all start doing impressions and trying to talk over Dice, which obviously doesn't work. So then he starts yelling, and they all just start talking over each other, and it's just chaos. I am the god of hell. Let them over here now. Here's more. <laughs> Jay is right here on my Number one, I what do you mean you got me down? I didn't even know you were in the studio still. <laughs> get me down. You're, you're a zero. I didn't say get you down. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what you said when I hung up. <laughs> Jay Moore, I got him down. You got me down. <laughs> I get your wife down like this. And then? Well, I'm, I'm doing a motion that you can't say. <laughs> 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 but it's it's lewd. Hey, nice. Okay, come on, let's start fresh. I, hold on, I'm starting fresh. Let's start fresh. You're nice. You won't let me get a second time, guys. <laughs> so what's going on, Jay? What are you doing? I'm just here in awe of you. <laughs> what are you doing now? What are you doing up there? I'm, uh, How do you get there so quick? I live around the corner. I'm hosting. No, you don't. You live in L.A. Yeah, I also live in New York. See, I make some. I'm the guy that makes the house. I'm shocked that I have two oh, homes. <laughs> Well, what are you going to do if you're in front of me? You want to start something now? I don't start anything. Exactly. So let's, come on. Look what's going on now. Four minutes ago, we're buddy. And then you snap. Like a, uh, no, I didn't do anything. You're the one that says, what if I push you around? What? What? That's what you said. Guys, they have four million listeners, and they're all right now scratching their heads on the turnpike. Brewer does the definitive Pesci. Let me hear it. Go ahead, bro. I forgot Pro was even there. Yeah. yeah. That's a strong career move, not letting anybody know you're on the air. <laughs> That's strong. Yeah, it's so, it's so easy to do when you're on the phone, Dice. Yeah, really. Well, what did I say? Because I'm busy everything, everything. your mother. Everything. Oh. Look your said, mother over here. Who said what the who now? She, she's bleeding. Who said what the who? Who just said he's bleeding? Let's get the long night. You, you know what I did? You want to go to bed? Bring your mother in your pen, and then she threw up you on your father's face. That's what I did, bro. Did you just your head for fairy with the little girl? You're the garbage that dripped on your mother's leg. That's what I said to you, bro. I'm your mother's house. Oh, by the way, she's cooking for everyone tonight. Oh, fly. Hey, problem. Hey, I'll let you take a picture of Dyson's home. His mother loves it. Who's the right one? Does anybody hear anybody? Yeah, Randy Johnson. I don't know. 90 mile an hour. Isn't it funny? I can stand up to everybody. You need like 20 guys to come up against me. That's dice. That's why I'm the greatest. That's why the CD is the greatest CD ever put out in the history of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, dice, the undisputed heavyweight comedy king, signing off. Yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the Jay Moore versus Andrew Dice Clay feud. And all that started from the phrase yam bag. It's crazy, but let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comments. And then if you like this video, make sure you go check out my Patreon account. I have a bunch of videos up there, and I just posted another one about Jay Moore. If you want to hear about why he has such a bad reputation and some of the crazy stuff he's up to, make sure you go check it out. And then hit the like button here, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.